salacious scandals, pop culture, violent crimes, and other real-life stories compiled into a 380-page book, The Chronicle of Singapore. But the book's editor-in-chief, Peter Lim, confided in Razor TV as he felt some things were missing in the collection of 2,270 new stories and headlines. Not unlike his other story about Sunny Ang, this one also involved a homicide and an ex-girlfriend. I don't want to give the impression that I had lots of girlfriends, but um, <laughs> I, this, I'm hesitating because I was going to, yeah, I, I should tell you as it, as it was. I gave an old sports car to a then girlfriend, and I, uh, and I, um, I signed the transfer. I signed the transfer form. I told her. We quarreled. I should go, we were breaking up. So my farewell gift to her was a was a, a sports car that was involved in a crash, caused that happened when we were both quarrelling. <laughs> I won't bore you with other details. Okay? <laughs> some young man hit. Some young man followed too closely. Hit me. And my car shot forward. Hit some other car in front. It was a, it was a small sports car, TR2. Then uh, maybe a year later, um, homicide squad turned up in my home. I said, are you the owner of this car? I said, no. I said, yes, you are. I said, no. Well, why do you say no? I said, yeah. Uh, you, you. So I didn't want to say, right? I mean, you, you don't go around telling the cops that you gave your car away. Ah, my darling ex-girlfriend didn't bother to transfer the ownership. Then she got fed up with the car, put on an ad, I think. And this American oilman answered the ad and bought it. I don't know how he could get into the big size guy get into the small car. And uh, my girlfriend gave him my transfer form and he and he had just got a car and did not have time to transfer it. So it's still my name. And the and, and the guy yeah he came, he went to a pub in Tanyong Paga, parked car there, went inside to drink, came out, two guys just according to court case later on they just have just hanging around Saw him staggering to the car. She had learned not to drive and drinking, after drinking, right? Saw him staggering to the car and, and thought that he was an easy, easy touch. So they robbed him and he fought. And then, uh, and then in the fight, he fell into a drain and unfortunately his drain, his head, his head hit the edge of the drain and he died. So they were charged with murder but the, the, the charge didn't stick because it wasn't murder. So and the story was, wasn't picked up either. I'm just amazed you were involved in two murders and nobody picked up the story. Yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. But since the Sunny Young murder and the homicide were both girlfriend-related, we just had to ask the 71-year-old retiree a personal question. Just now when we were talking about the books and everything, you mentioned that you had a girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah I had a girlfriend. But she's not... I almost said not yet. <laughs> but she's not involved in any murder case. Okay. This current one, lah. <laughs> current one not involved in any murder case. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she runs an education centre called Creative Horizons Language Centre. How's that for product placement? Oh, okay, so she... Okay, she girlfriend, I hope you appreciate that, you and your partners. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that is as big a declaration of love as you can get from a guy who's known to deliver news just as it is. Stay tuned to find out how this colourful character helped work on this epic book and the challenges he faced when selecting stories that best represented the last 50 years in Singapore. Cover properly in front, okay, so that your neighbors can see that you're exercising.